Praise be Jesus Christ. Yesterday I was listening to some commentary and reading some commentary on the statement, truth without charity is not truth. And when I heard this statement right away, I was thinking, well, that's just silly. I mean, truth is truth. This is one of the first things I was taught when I studied philosophy with the Dominicans. And, it, and we were taught it's one of the most important things. Truth is truth. And the example I would give is, say for example, a lady who, go, who goes to daily mass. One day she walks out, she goes to her car and she sees a young man selling drugs to a 12 year old kid. And she reacts in anger to this young man. She says, how dare you? The Lord Jesus poured out his blood out of love for you. And what's your response? You're selling drugs to a kid. You're a disgrace and you're on your way to hell. Now, the question is, is did what she say, was what she said true? And the answer is, yeah, it's true. She didn't say it in the most loving way. She maybe could have chosen some other words, but it doesn't take away the fact that what she said is true. And scripture says, Proverbs chapter 12, verse one, whoever hates reproof is stupid. A wise person receives the reproof of others. It's not that you just accept every condemning thing someone says about you. You need to discern, is, is something of what this person is saying is true? Do I need to hear something that this person is saying, even, even if the person is saying it out of a, a woundedness, a brokenness, an anger, an insecurity? A wise person listens keeps the truth and rejects the lies. And, and a classic example of this, and I read this story when I was a teenager, it had a big impact on my life in how I receive correction. It's the story of King David, he's marching with his army, with his soldiers, and there's a man named Shimei. He comes out and it says, he kept cursing as he came out and throwing stones at David. Shimei was saying as he cursed, get out, get out, you man of blood. You scoundrel, the Lord has paid you back for all the blood shed from the family of Saul. And then King David's assistant says to, says to King David, why should this dead dog curse my Lord, the king? Let me go over and take off his head. But the king replied, what business is it of mine or of yours, son of Zariah, that he curses? Suppose the Lord has told him to curse David. Who then will dare to say, why are you doing this? Let him alone and let him curse for the Lord has told him to. Perhaps the Lord will look upon my affliction and repay me with good for the curses he is uttering this day. You see, sometimes people will react out of anger and out of brokenness and say nasty things to us, but a wise person listens. Is there something true in this? And going back to this church lady, maybe, just maybe she was actually filled with the spirit of Jesus. And this, this, this rebuke to this young man was actually exactly what this young man needed to hear. Just like St. John the Baptist, strong rebuke to King Herod. Just like the Lord Jesus, many times we hear him speaking strong rebukes to people who needed to hear it. Maybe, indeed, these people who are speaking so strongly and with an anger, maybe deep down it does come from a deep charity. Viva Cristo Rey.